یہی سے بات کا سلسلہ آگے بڑھائیں گے دوسرے جانب ناظرین آپ کو بتائیں گے چیئرمن ہائر ایڈوکیشن ڈاکٹر نظام الدین اس وقت تقریب سے خطاب کر رہے ہیں There is no system. We have not changed the whole system of education in the last 70 years. Still, in fact, we have deteriorated from teachers training education institutions. As a result, we are finding untrained teachers being used in schools who are supposed to train science and mathematics and English. So there has to be some pause and assess. I hope this three days conference can talk about this and how we can help. Please address some of the issues. Secondly, I would suggest there should be more of a panel discussion on policy issues and program issues, why and how can we learn from our international participants here, what they would suggest us to do. Because there is a serious crisis. The Prime Minister is calling it a serious crisis. Then he says that no nation can develop. In his letter, he's mentioned no nation can develop without investing in science and technology education. We are investing. There are dozens of very expensive science institutions in Pakistan. Pakistan Science Conference, Commission, science organizations, research funding, millions of rupees available for research funding. We don't know what's happened to those institutions. We have to take a stop. And this is a country which is supposed to has built the coming from which means scientists are working there. My explanation would be that because there's a large number of population, a few dozens good scientists there, that doesn't meet the requirement. Either you should come back to the reality that we cannot expect everybody should go to science and science and technology. And everybody should not be expected to go to universities. There should be some understanding, a commonality of understanding, not this ambitious political goal, no, no, everybody should have a right to go to this education, whereas you are not able to do it. So let's take a stop. How this challenge that has been given to us by the Chief Minister of Punjab, that how to popularize science and mathematics education in school system in Punjab. It has gone to all the provinces. We are discussing this, uh, hopefully the 3 o'clock meeting will come up some recommendations. So far we have two recommendations that try to separate students who are interested, who have the aptitude for science and technology. Don't push them. Our parents pushed all of us to become doctors, engineers, scientists. They don't think anything else is meaningful or useful. That societal attitude towards science and technology is one thing. But in ground reality, we don't have the environment, either at home or in the school, to teach science and technology. Our school rooms are not equipped. Our textbooks are not updated. Our labs and laboratories are outdated. So then how can you see, teach science and technology in schools and colleges? But at the same time, when I read the history of Pakistan, there's no experiment that has not been done in Pakistan. We have started science schools, science colleges, Comprehensive schools, English medium schools, we have all experiments we have done. But what happened when we start an experiment, then we don't continue. There is no sustained effort to, to see. Then we start a new initiative. Now this initiative that Chief Minister and Prime Minister talking about, it has been done many times to promote popularize science education in Pakistan by opening schools, opening labs. But then what happened, we, don't, we have not taken a stop. Why did we fail? Where did we fail? So without analyzing. But again, going back, let's have separate school for mathematics and science for those students who are interested. This is, a, this is not a new model. I've seen this model working in, in, in our state. They have a science college. They have a science school. They have a prep schools where they want to go to. They go last two years of high school, they go to prep school. And then those prep schools are either sciences or social sciences, humanities and arts, depending what your interests are. We don't have, we want everybody to go till the last minute when they fail. So this is something has to be done in between why we should push them to go towards something which they may not be interested in or may not have the aptitude. And how can we push them to school system?